All right, this is a limiting reactant demonstration. So I have isopropyl alcohol here. Um, this is what you would buy at the store. This is 91% isopropyl alcohol. Um, and then I also have in this um, beaker, I have uh, something that's a little bit more pure. This is close to 100% uh, isopropyl alcohol. And this is gonna be a combustion reaction. So I'm gonna pour it out on the desk here and I'm gonna light it on fire and any combustion reaction requires two ingredients. You need to have some sort of fuel and then you need to have oxygen, okay? So what do you think is gonna run out first? The isopropyl alcohol, which will be acting like the fuel in this case, or the oxygen in the classroom? Let's find out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this out on the lab table and let's light it on fire. So what do you think is gonna run out first? The fuel here or the oxygen in the room? Well, I can still breathe. Still going, I can still breathe. So as you notice, the flyer's starting to get a little bit smaller here as the fuel's consumed. Still going, starting to shrink now. And it's just about done. And almost still hanging on and just about done. So I can still breathe. So the fuel all got consumed, which was our limiting reactant, but there's still oxygen in the room, so there's excess oxygen. So in this case, the fuel source was our limiting reactant. It's what we had less of. We had plenty of oxygen in the room. The oxygen was our uh, excess reactant. So this is a demonstration of, this has been a demonstration of limiting reactants.